and and there's uh so to prime the decentralization uh topic yesterday i was doing research it's called just in time research it's like oh we got a podcast coming up i better do some research and i found that dionysius had written an article on medium from april of 2018 and i highly recommend this article it's a fantastic article and it's called decentralization is sovereignty and in there dionysius wrote about how both political uh you got to have two types of decentralization for decentralization to be complete. You have to have political decentralization and architectural or the technological decentralization. You have to have both. Uh, he states in there, both are required for a system to truly be decentralized. So, um, Dionysius, could you tell our viewers a little more about what you described in the article? What are your thoughts on decentralization right so i mean this is quite a broad political question and one of the things that we're trying to do one of the one of the reasons we're working on this space is because we hope that this will improve the state of the world and this is why we also call it you know political cryptography sometimes um so decentralization i think um it started with money uh, in, in terms of Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, uh, but it can go on in, in many different ways. And I think this is something that we're slowly starting to see in global politics. So uh, one, one thing that we're observing now is that a lot of political um, events and, and advan advances are not happening in a localized level anymore. So the, the local party that would try to change something at a local level is still relevant, but there's, there's some effects that are happening in, in a global scale, which are not due to the will of uh, politicians. And these changes, um, these are usually um, driven by some new technology that has been designed to bring that change. Um, and my favorite example is, um, let's say, Wikipedia, which is not a decentralized system, but uh, it is bringing that kind of change in education. Um, so a lot of countries which do have internet access, and, and a lot of countries today do, um, they, they have been tremendously affected by the way Wikipedia um, changed education. So people in, let's say, Tanzania, where, um, you know, they miss a lot of very basic necessities. Uh, still, most of them have access to the internet and they can access Wikipedia. Um, the education in the local communities there uh, is, is quite limited, but Wikipedia is changing that even though the local, uh, the local uh, politics makes it very difficult to, to change it locally. So these, these kinds of changes really affect uh, sector by sector. So cryptocurrencies are trying to change the the uh the politics the global politics of finance and money and stock and bonds and so on uh, and this is something that ha that's happening there uh, I, I think this is going to continue in that direction uh, so once we discover you know all the things that smart contracts can do um, maybe this will lead to um some some of some of these changes being more global and um more broad, so covering a lot more topics, um, some parts of, of, of the law and, and um, the, the judiciary system could be replaced with uh, smart contracts. Um, and, and if we, we can make these systems now decentralized, um, then these can survive uh, adversity, they can survive um, governments, um, totalitarian governments, let's say, trying to shut them down as alternative means of solving people's problems. Um, so to return to your point where you have these two different things, a te technical uh, or technological decentralization and then political decentralization, in terms of, um, in terms of political decentralization, what you, what you want to have is you want the, the owners of the system to well, basically be non-existent or just to be an open community, an anonymous community where anybody can really join. And Cardano and Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrencies are an example of that. 
Uh, Wikipedia is currently not an example of that. It's, it runs on central servers. Um, however, it's an example of a project that if, if the political will of the people running Wikipedia would you know, disappear, it would still be a project that would survive. So I consider it uh, one of the examples of, of projects that you know, um, have this essence of decentralization without having the, the technological part of it. 